As the electric vehicle market sees an increasing number of automakers emerging from China to North America, the pressure on manufacturers is mounting because they must find new breakthroughs in battery technology that are at least efficient in terms of cost, energy, and safety. In this race, the one with a better battery wins. In the long run, Tesla cannot remain faithful to lithium-ion batteries because the truth is that they can't help Elon's electric cars drop in prices and produce affordable vehicles. So, what if Tesla had a battery that's three times cheaper than lithium-ion batteries, it charges twice as fast, and is a hundred times safer? This may sound unbelievable, but it is fast approaching. As always, sodium-ion batteries may be a familiar concept to many energy technology enthusiasts, but the majority might not have a clear understanding of what a sodium-ion battery is and just simply think it's a type of battery with sodium components. Yes, this isn't wrong, but we believe the concept of a sodium ion battery is much more interesting than that. Simply put, a sodium ion battery is basically composed of a cathode made from a material capable of holding sodium, an anode typically made from hard carbon, alloy, metal oxide, and a liquid electrolyte containing sodium atoms in ion form. The electrolyte is the liquid that lies between the cathode and anode, filling the internal volume of the cell and acting as a link between the cathode and anode, allowing sodium ions to move. Changing from using more lithium to more sodium will only change the energy density, charging time, safety properties, general performance specs, but not change the operating principle. The working principle of sodium ion batteries and lithium ion batteries is actually the same and many of the electrode materials used in sodium ion technology are borrowed from lithium ion technology. Sodium ions will move from the cathode to the anode when charging and vice versa when discharging. Yeah, we hope that we can make you understand. Now back to the original question. Why Tesla can use sodium ion battery and why they refuse sodium ion battery? Let's solve the positive question first because we believe it'll be better. Why might Tesla use sodium ion batteries? Tesla's use of sodium ion batteries does not mean that they will not use other types of lithium ion batteries. Each battery technology will have its own strengths and thus be suitable for each different Tesla EV model. Have you ever wondered why we should turn to sodium ion batteries when lithium ion batteries are already a gold standard? So easy, lithium ion batteries cannot address many of the issues facing electric vehicles especially as most automakers are trending towards creating more affordable electric vehicles. Yeah, one of the main reasons sodium ion batteries are being developed is because of the abundance and lower cost of sodium compared to lithium. This is especially important as demand for standard lithium for batteries continues to grow and is expected that by 2025, there's going to be a shortage of the lithium needed to produce those lithium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries in particular have an advantage for all automakers, especially Tesla and the $25,000 electric car that Elon's always talking about, with lower costs because adding a different battery chemistry that doesn't require lithium into the mix has huge benefits, especially in the future when lithium demand increases 500 times more than it does now. According to Energy Post, the cost of sodium ion batteries could drop to as low as $40 per kilowatt hour in the future which is nearly the lowest price point for any battery technology. Tesla's biggest partner, Cattle, currently produces sodium ion cells that cost around $77 per kilowatt hour, but Cattle promises that prices could drop below $40 a kilowatt hour in the future, as the world's leading battery maker has made a major breakthrough in manufacturing. It's easy to see the potential for sodium ion batteries in terms of price, or as even the cheapest LFP cells on the market currently cost $139 a kilowatt hour. Although lithium exists naturally in various types of rock and some types of salt water, the amount of lithium in the Earth's crust is not limitless. Moreover, extracting lithium requires energy. The high demand for this raw material, coupled with limited natural supply, has driven its price up, earning the nickname white gold. On the contrary, sodium makes up about 2.6% of the Earth's crust, making it abundant in nature and much easier to extract compared to lithium. Furthermore, besides sodium, the materials used for the cathode in sodium ion batteries primarily contain iron and manganese instead of nickel or cobalt found in lithium ion batteries. Both iron and manganese are plentiful globally and are not listed as endangered elements. What is the charging time of sodium ion batteries? For those disappointed with long charging times, electric vehicles remain a concern, especially on journeys exceeding 400 miles. In Tesla EVs, the fastest charging time is around a half hour, 20 to 80% for Model 3 via the LFP package. 
If Tesla aims to improve charging times, sodium ion batteries may not be the best solution, despite other battery technologies achieving remarkable charging times. Compared to current standards, however, sodium ion batteries are certainly much more efficient than lithium cells. Specifically, sodium ion batteries have the potential to charge faster than lithium ion batteries as Cattle claims that their batteries can be charged to 80% in about 15 to 20 minutes, better than Tesla's electric vehicles, which typically take around 30 minutes to do the same thing. Even more amazing is that a new battery development and battery technology is giving us a crazy glimpse of those insane charging speeds that sodium ion batteries can achieve. If you search for sodium ion battery charge time, you'll see a bunch of info about researchers creating a new type of sodium ion battery that can charge extremely fast in just a few seconds using a cathode that matches the supercapacitor. This is a significant leap forward from the current dominant lithium ion battery, which can take nearly a full hour to charge. Why does Tesla need sodium ion battery safety? Most people today still have the view that electric vehicles are always a time bomb that can explode at any time after four to five years of use. Once the electric vehicle catches fire, it's difficult to estimate the gallon of water to extinguish the lithium battery packs. Yeah, we don't deny that lithium batteries are dangerous, but of course, those are rare cases and very rare. The rate's very small. However, in a lithium battery, the story's going to be different than if it's a sodium ion battery. Sodium ion batteries ensure high safety standards because cells based on this chemical element are not flammable or explosive or short circuit prone, which means sodium is almost inflammable. Moreover, battery types containing sodium can withstand extreme temperatures capable of operating in ranges from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. In contrast, lithium cells have an optimal operating temperature range of 0 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. More precisely, sodium ion batteries exhibit better low temperature performance, maintaining over 92% capacity at minus 20 Celsius. In a press release from Cattle regarding sodium ion batteries, a similar claim about cold weather performance was made, stating that sodium ion batteries can retain over 90% of their capacity in low temperature environments, such as minus 20 degrees Celsius. In addition to performance in cold weather, there is also a safety benefit because sodium ion batteries are often considered safer than lithium ion batteries since sodium is a less reactive element compared to lithium. Sodium ion batteries also have an advantage that we believe everyone would like, which is that they are less toxic than other common types of batteries because they don't require lithium, cobalt, nickel, which can release polluting gases in case of fire and they can adapt to various purposes of use. Finally, electric cars running on sodium could appeal to urban and suburban drivers on tight budgets, those who don't necessarily need a car for long-distance driving. So with these three reasons, it's clear that this is the answer to why more and more companies are developing sodium-ion batteries. With their three significant advantages, it could certainly persuade Elon to bring them to Tesla and integrate them into future affordable and compact electric vehicle models. However, there may still be one or even two barriers for Elon to overlook this battery technology. So. Having said that, why might Tesla reject sodium ion batteries? Despite its high efficiency, sodium batteries are relatively new in the commercial market. The widespread application of this energy storage type remains limited due to the lack of established industrial supply chains. A major drawback of sodium batteries is their energy density, which refers to the amount of energy stored per unit volume of the battery. Sodium batteries still have a relatively low energy density, ranging from 140 watt hours a kg to 160 watt hours a kilogram, compared to 180 watt hours a kilogram to 250 watt hours a kg for lithium ion batteries. The energy density of a battery is an important factor affecting its performance in applications. Batteries with high energy density can often deliver a large amount of energy in a small size making them ideal for electric vehicles. With the same size, batteries with high energy density will provide longer usage time compared to those with lower energy density. In addition, high energy density batteries are often lighter, helping to reduce the overall weight of devices. On the other hand, batteries with low energy density typically have bigger or larger dimensions to provide the same amount of energy, resulting in shorter usage times. Achieving the same energy capacity, low energy density batteries are usually heavier. This is a challenge that sodium ion batteries are currently facing, and it's a primary reason for their slower development compared to the rapid advancements we see with lithium ion batteries. However, there is still much hope as Cattle is expected to soon introduce its sodium ion battery Gen 2. Cattle's announced a target 
of 200 watt hours per kg for the next generation version currently under development compared to the current generation, which only achieves 160 watt hours a kilogram. Moreover, as we discussed previously about sodium ion battery technology, a former Tesla engineer has founded his own company that's dedicated to advancing this type of battery. And he's confident that his sodium ion battery will provide a range of 300 miles, which is the most ambitious claim we've heard yet about sodium ion batteries. In short, we're trying to make the $25,000 Tesla actually possible, says Spencer Gore, CEO of the startup Bedrock Materials, which announced a seed round of $8.5 million today. To make this a reality, Spencer Gore is focusing on integrating the latest battery components into his cells, which holds great promise indeed. The main reason sodium ion batteries have limited energy density is due to lithium ions being smaller and lighter compared to sodium ions. This smaller size allows lithium ions to be densely packed into the electrode materials, enabling higher energy storage per unit volume or weight. Additionally, lithium has a lower electrochemical potential than sodium, meaning lithium tends to release more energy per electron exchanged in reactions compared to sodium. What is the life cycle of a sodium ion battery? Another significant barrier to practical use of sodium ion batteries is their short lifespan. This rapid degradation is primarily used to sodium ions being larger, approximately three times larger than lithium ions. Sodium ions create greater mechanical stress during movement between the positive and negative electrodes, leading to quicker deterioration of the anode material after a few cycles. For energy storage applications, the importance of improving cycle life cannot be overlooked. According to published information, the cycle life of current sodium ion batteries can reach up to 5,000 cycles, but this is still significantly lower than the current life cycle of commercial lithium ion phosphate batteries, which ranges from 8,000 to 10,000 cycles. If sodium ion batteries are to become the backbone of the energy storage field, further advancements in technical efficiency are still necessary. To achieve higher energy density, cattle is addressing previous material challenges. The negative electrode utilizes Prussian white material modified by electron rearrangement, solving the previous issue of rapid power degradation after material cycles. The company states that the positive electrode is made from hard, porous carbon material, allowing for greater storage capacity and faster movement of sodium ions. Cattle claims that their sodium ion battery could be commercialized if this improvement achieves successful results. Yeah, we we're going to have to wait for further developments on that one. Over the past 20 years, over half of sodium ion battery research activities leading to patents have occurred in China. That's 53% there, followed by Japan at 16%, the U.S. at 13%, and Europe is also starting to make progress in this field. According to forecasts, the sodium ion battery is expected to reach a growth rate of 27% annually over the next decade. Annual production could increase from 10 gigawatts in 2025 to around 70 gigawatt hours by 2033, marking a nearly 600% rise. Sodium ion technology could potentially become more widespread due to the fact that many similar manufacturing technologies are used for both sodium ion and lithium ion batteries. This similarity enables easier conversion of production lines and potentially even cost savings. Cattle has introduced an innovative idea to address the drawbacks of sodium ion batteries, the development of hybrid batteries. This involves mixing and combining sodium ion and lithium batteries in certain proportions, integrating them into a single battery system using Smart Battery Management Systems, BMS, to control these different battery systems. Depending on the requirements, vehicles could leverage the efficiency at low temperatures of sodium ion batteries or the high energy density of lithium ion batteries. The project's still in the testing phase, but the entire industry is closely watching this initiative from the Chinese company. Despite these ongoing challenges, interest in sodium ion batteries is steadily growing in the electrified world. Major international companies in the battery manufacturing sector are shifting their focus towards this technology. Cattle highlighted sodium ion chemistry as a target in 2021, presenting it as a new frontier for their investments to differentiate their products. The Chinese giant is pursuing this strategy based on a deep understanding that capturing a portion of the current lithium-ion dominated market with sodium-ion batteries could significantly reduce lithium battery prices. Currently, sodium-ion batteries are primarily used in small-scale applications manufactured in China, and we do not expect them to appear in Tesla's EVs in the next few years. While this possibility may eventually materialize, we don't believe it'll happen until cattle successfully commercializes their sodium ion battery Gen 2, which would need the energy density required for Tesla to consider adoption. However, the electric vehicle industry isn't solely comprised of Tesla, as many other automakers are grappling with battery technology advancements. Sodium ion batteries could prove to be an efficient option for them. 
Additionally, sodium ion batteries may find broader use in the future in stationary energy storage environments. As Tesla looks to make its electric vehicles more affordable and lower their prices, the sodium ion battery could be a good choice as it offers the three pillars of cost, charging time, and safety. With this battery, Tesla electric cars may not achieve truly outstanding performance indicators, but at least people with less money will now be able to buy a Tesla EV to experience it. Now it can overcome its limited energy density, and there's no doubt that it'll soon be available for production at the Nevada plant. When considering the advantages and disadvantages of sodium ion and lithium ion batteries, it becomes evident that each has its own strength. The choice between the two depends on specific requirements, cost considerations, and desired environmental impacts. In the debate between sodium ion and lithium ion batteries, sodium ion emerges as a promising alternative solution with cost efficiency, environmental friendliness, and safety features. However, lithium ion batteries maintain their dominant position due to their high energy density, established infrastructure, and technological maturity. In summary, the competition between sodium ion and lithium ion batteries reflects a positive shift towards sustainable and efficient energy storage solutions. The dynamic landscape of battery technology continues to evolve, and the coexistence of two technologies provides a diverse approach to meeting the diverse energy needs of our world. Finally, what do you expect from sodium ion batteries, and what do you think if Tesla will have EVs running on them? We appreciate your valuable contributions. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.